Well, good morning guys and welcome back. So Lisa and I had a great time visiting with the grandkids down in San Diego and uh, that was a lot of fun. Uh, but we're glad to be home and back to working on the homestead. So today I just picked up some beautiful uh, cedar 2x12s, uh, smooth on one side, rough on the other, and smooth on both of the edges. And I'm going to build the steps uh, leading up to Lisa's art studio with these pieces. So pretty expensive, but they uh, are really nice and uh, it's going to look good. So that's what I'm working on today. Pretty good sized fire going on uh, to the northeast of us. So uh, it's pretty smoky today. Doesn't smell too bad, but it's definitely, you can see it, you know, in the sky. So that's no fun. It's nice. So rough on this side, smooth on, on this side. This will be the upside for the steps. Ooh, love that smell. Okay, so this door is a 5-0 door. So those eight foot pieces of cedar are gonna work perfect for the steps. That'll give me a foot and a half on either side of the door, which will be great. It, they'll be, uh, wide enough to where if Lisa wants to put, you know, potted plants or something up the steps, she can do that. By the way, while we were gone, we had set up the sprinkler on uh, that, that battery operated uh, timer and that thing worked out great. So the few plants that we have in this area, again, this is not our official garden. <laughs> the area is, but we haven't built the raised beds and so forth. These are just a few plants that we, we've had around the homestead but they got plenty of water and uh, they look happy. So that's good. So guys, I've got to install these stringers. I've got three of them for these eight foot wide steps. Um, and I attach them to the building with these strong ties. Well, I thought that I had inch and a quarter screws to do that with, but it turns out I don't. My shortest screw is actually a two by three and a quarter. So that's way too long. That's fine for going uh, through here, but when attaching to the side of the uh, the stringer, it's, it's, it's just too long. So anyway, I've got to go get some one and a quarter inch uh, screws for these. And that requires going back into town. You know, that's 10 mile drive back. Actually, it's about 15 miles because the shorter route is closed because of the road repair I told you about. And uh, that's just too much time. So I'm going to pick up those screws tomorrow on my way back out here uh, when I'm in town and work on this project tomorrow. So for the rest of the day, I'm going to go inside Lisa's studio and work on trimming out the inside of the windows. So for the window trim, I'm just going with this uh, one by three cedar that I use for the battens on the outside of the building. Uh, Lisa just wants it real simple and kind of uh, nothing fancy in here. So I'm just uh, cutting this to length and making a box around the window on the inside. So I did one already uh, before we left on our trip and I'll show you what that looks like. It's right behind you. <laughs> So you can see it's just a, uh, just a simple, you know, inside trim to basically cover up the gaps and so forth uh, that you see where the window is installed. So get to work on that.
Good morning, everyone. So I had a load of rock delivered yesterday. I need to install more rock up at Lisa's studio in front of the door so that it's level where I'm going to lay those, uh, install those steps. So it's level on the ground. You know, there's quite a bit of slope up there. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and spread that rock, get that level. And I did pick up the screws I needed. We'll go ahead and get those steps installed. Well, bollocks. So I got a flat tire in this front left wheel and uh, I'll show you the culprit. There it is, a nail. Gosh darn it. Well, um, I don't have my um, my air compressor here, and I'm not sure that I have a patch kit. I'm going to look around. I might have a patch kit for my motorcycle. Uh, this is in a spot where I should be able to plug that. <clears throat> and I do have a bicycle pump in the truck, so I might be able to fill this up uh, with it off the ground like that. Um, with the bicycle pump. We'll give it a try. <laughs> Dang it! <laughs> yeah, so I just checked my motorcycle kit. It does have a tire patch, but it's not the plug type. It's an actual patch. And for this, I'm going to need a plug. So that's a bummer. That means I got to go back in town, uh, go to the auto parts store, and get the necessary uh, plug kit to, to make this repair. So I'm going to do that. I have other work to do in town. I've got some voiceover work to do today. Uh, so I may just stay back in town and come back out tomorrow and give these steps uh, another shot tomorrow. Third time's a charm. <laughs> well, good morning again, guys. So I stopped by my auto uh, parts store and picked up a tubeless tire uh, repair kit. This is the, uh, uh, the plug that I told you about. So um, also at home, I found this can of Fix-A-Flat, so this will be my last resort. But I'm going to go ahead and try to plug this hole. Here's the nail, so I'll pull that out, install this plug, and then I've got my uh, air compressor here, and attempt to uh, get that thing filled up. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Okay, that should do it. Let's bring this down. Let's see what we look like. All 
All right. Flat tire. Fixed. I'm not sure if the camera's picking it up or not, but behind me, you can see the smoke in the air. There's a serious fire to the north of us, and it's really smoked out our, our area for about the last four or five days. So we're, uh, it's the 19th or 20th of September, and we're still a couple of months away from rainy season. So these fires continue to burn, and uh, that's no fun. Uh, fortunately it's, you can smell it, but it's not, um, you know, it's not terrible, uh, as far as ability to breathe and so forth, but it looks pretty eerie. <laughs> Awesome. Okay guys, so the steps are done. I'll probably put a uh, cedar face, you know, here and there, but I don't have that wood right now. So uh, that'll come later, but they're solid, they're wide. Lisa can put plants on either end of these steps. Look real nice. Uh, next up, I've got this lattice that I need to trim up to uh, put around the base, the skirt of this building where uh, the, the hill slopes down here, you know, to hide that. So uh, that's coming up in, uh, in next week's video. So I appreciate you guys joining me this week. Uh, please smash that like button if you enjoyed the video and subscribe if you haven't yet. That really helps out the channel. Again, thanks for watching. I'll look forward to seeing you next week.